it's that sound that we all react to the fastest. No, I'm not talking about your mum calling you. Come on, we all know that's the last thing we ever listen to. I am talking about this sound. Hello and welcome to another episode of IP with Shuchi. In 1876, just three days after getting the patent on his telephone, Alexander Graham Bell picked up the phone and said to his assistant Thomas Watson, Mr. Watson, come here. I need you. Did you know the telephone is also supposed to be the world's most valuable patent? When he invented the telephone, Bell hoped to have his deaf students, including his future wife Mabel Hubbard, be able to hear. But when he presented a list of all the future inventions he hoped to make to his future father-in-law, do you know what was called nonsense? You guessed it, the telephone. There's a story to the patent filing of the telephone also. On 14th February 1876, not one, but two men filed for the patent of the telephone. Some say by some hocus pocus. Bell's application got filed at place number five. Well, the other person was Elisha Gray and his application got the number 39. And that's how Alexander Graham Bell got the patent of the telephone. It all started with that one patent. But today, the successors of that humble telephone, the smartphones, hold a mind-boggling a quarter of a million patents. With the Chinese brand Huawei holding a whopping 3,524 patents. In the past, patents on smartphones have also started some very expensive brawls. For example, in 2012, Apple won a case against Samsung. The case was for $1.049 billion. In the case, Apple had alleged that Samsung had illegally copied a lot of the features of their iconic iPhone and iPad. This is IP with Shuchi bringing off for today. If you have ideas on what I should speak on next, put it down in my comments.